Hello and welcome back to the channel. The time has come, everyone. The time has come. The moment we've been waiting for. The Zeus is in the game. And here it is. Now, this is the ES. I have also got the CL that I'll pull out in a minute and I'll show you that one. I've got the new Halloween paint on that one, so we'll have a little look around that. But I thought we'd start with the ES and then we'll take a little flight in the CL. We can get a little comparison of the two. Uh, I'll quickly whack in some shots right now that I did earlier, just walking around it, having a little look at um, sort of the exterior, how beautiful the ship is. The attention to detail is incredible. Also, uh, what you're seeing on screen right now is the new uh, Citizen Con 2954 Omni AFS Sapphire Armored Flight Suit with the Sapphire Helmet. Anyway, back to the Zeus. So, I'm hearing noises. I think I'm hearing other people's hangers. <laughs> um, but yes, this is the ES, so let's have a little look around. I've already gone in and opened up these. There's a very loud noise when you get on board at the moment. Again, probably something that will be patched uh, when it goes to the live servers. We are, of course, in the PTU still. I love how everything's sitting here. We've got the fuses, it looks like. I think I can actually pick up this fuse. I can. Interesting. So they've prepared this for the engineering mode. Um, there was only a few ships in the engineering test. Obviously, this one has come with it ready to go which is very exciting it means we are probably looking at that coming when they say it's going to come and also fire extinguishers can't pick this up yet unfortunately but you know 4.0 we're supposed to have fire which will be really cool um so yeah we've got all these components it looks like this is well i've got a little icon that says radar but it looks empty at the moment i'm not sure if we'll whack something in there at some point we've got the fuel tank here and then what else have we got power plants coolers jump drives all of this stuff i'm assuming we can whack this out have i got a tractor beam attachment i don't um but yeah i'm assuming we can whack all these out for the engineering gameplay so this is the cargo hold of the es still pretty sizable um i think it's 32 seu although i will double check that for you in just a moment can't remember off the top of my head unfortunately but i believe it is and then as we go through here we've got the quarters for the crew with individual lockers and now i thought these were going to open animation wise but they're actually proper lockers so we can put stuff in i'm hoping this is personal we can sort of drag over this multi-tool into the uh into the storage here which is pretty pretty nifty if you ask me and then we have the beds one two well actually that's not a bed what is this is that extra storage little cubby hole so we've got three beds in the crew quarters and what looks like a, a little storage hold that we can, I don't know, maybe place a weapon or something. If I go, oh, not inspect. Oh yeah, there we go, place. Just whack that up there. There we go, a little, little cubby hole there. In case you want to glack your friend in the forehead that's sleeping on the bottom bunk for, for taking the bottom bunk. Because of course no one wants to be on the top bunk and be farted on. Um, then we have the bathroom area. Very, very nice, very snazzy. Still waiting for when we can poo in our ships. Uh, I don't know why CIG have neglected this. Obviously, an important gameplay feature to, that they haven't brought out yet. Um, lovely RSI logo. This is looking very, very, very nifty, isn't it? I like the the design in here and the sort of the little. I don't even know what they would be. Textured, textured hole. Anyone that's got what's that? What's that condition called? People that are scared of holes. Something for trypophobia or whatever. If you've got that, you're in for a bad time on the Zeus. Uh, moving over to the kitchen area. This is very nice. We've got a, a lovely kitchenette. Empty fridges. Um, shout out the Redeemer. One of the only ships that have a full fridge that you can use. Hopefully, uh, the other ships will follow suit. I'm hoping you can eventually buy stuff straight into this part of the ship rather than have to manually load it. Uh, although, knowing how Star Citizen's going with the physicalized cargo, I'm sure we'll have to manually fill these things in. And then, of course, the little seating area, which has a really nice window view, I have to say. I mean... You can watch the stars go by or you can watch yourself getting shot at by probably a, a buccaneer or some other, some other meta fighter that's uh, in master modes right now. And then what have we got over here? More kitchen space. Very, very nice. Is that two sinks? Am I thinking? Oh, no, there's no sink over here. I was going to say, who needs two sinks? And there we go. Kitchen area. Again, very, very high fidelity. You can tell the newer ships from the older ships in Star Citizen at this point. Things are things are going to have to have reworks in gold passes uh, hopefully soon. Shout out Freelancer and Constellation. Those two ships need some love. 
heading on into the next section we have possibly the best feature of the Zeus and the, one of the things that everyone is super excited about the ladder that gets you in and out of the ship rather than having to go into the cargo bay and up the ramp every freaking time look at this Got these really nice weapons on the front here and then let's go back into the ship Oh, straight in. Love it. And another fire extinguisher, which I'm really happy about. Because if there's a fire at the front, I don't want to have to go running through. Like, if there's a fire here, we, we don't want to have to run through to the cargo hold to get the extinguisher. So I'm glad they've, they've put a second one. I wonder where they'll put these on other ships. Obviously, this isn't something they've, as far as I'm aware, have thought about in the design of other ships. So this is going to have to be placed in. Um, so I'm wondering where they're going to sort of tuck those away eventually when they do the gold pass. Then we have battery shield generator another shield generator i really like how they're very clearly labeled and then the engineering terminal which currently says oh there's a relay is this another fuse cool okay nice another fuse here if i take that out does that turn off the screen no not yet but still i hear why can't i hear other people's hangers going mental but yes very cool and then we have the engineering terminal which currently isn't working I will say though, anyone that's got a Vanguard, go and, go and try out a Vanguard in the newest patch because when I was playing that the other day, they had the terminal on and I could, I could micromanage uh, the pilot's systems on the new MFDs from the Vanguard uh, engineering terminal at the back, the Sentinel I was in. That was really cool. So hopefully this comes online soon. I think 4.0 is where it's targeted. Then we have the airlock, which I really, really like this airlock. And I think what I like about it is it's got this little walkway where you can walk out onto the side of the ship. I don't know how good this is going to be in regard to connecting to other ships. Um, I'm assuming there'll have to be like a bridge that pops out because because the way this juts out, you can't sort of like plonk yourself and connect onto the side. But uh, I do like that it's here. Again, they've really thought about easy access to the front and back of the ship at all times. Then you've got your suit lockers. Again, not currently in use in the game, but... From these, uh, the little snippets we saw of the base building that's on its way, I think these will be in use for maybe 4.0. If not 4.0, the patch after, I'm, I'm imagining these will actually be usable finally, where we can put our suits and walk around in normal clothing. Moving on to the cockpit, we have the life support and another shield generator. Again, life support looking very empty right now. <laughs> Don't know how I'm going to live, but yeah, very nice. Uh, easy, easy to get to. They Again, they've really thought about the uh, usability of engineering and making that easy. Another fire extinguisher. God damn, how many fires they think we're going to be putting out on this thing? That's three. And uh, weapon lockers. Again, really, really nice. If I can whack my... What gun have I got with me? Yes, I've got the uh, the Citizen Con, the new P8 AR Citizen Con 2954. Uh, can I inspect this for you? There you go. There's the new AR. I've put a little light on the bottom. It is, again, very nice um very very nifty looking it has actually got a fire selector there does it actually use it is the question let's have a look that semi i don't think it does use the fire selectors yet but regardless very very cool and we can just place it in there ready to uh ready to go close that up can't wait to lose that and never get that back again right and then three seat cockpit i've heard people say that you can fly from all three seats we've got a gunner here on the left co-pilot here on the right uh, reminds me a lot of the uh, anvil carrick actually with the sort of the hanging drop down ceiling hanging seats and then the pilot seat i'm getting some sort of odd jittering in the pt at the moment in regard to performance i'm not sure if anyone else is experiencing that but uh i certainly am here we go, new MFDs. There's going to be a learning curve, everyone. Anyone that's not playing PTU and hasn't had time to really jump into these MFDs on EVO or whatnot, um, there's a learning curve to go with this. I, I played around with it the other day in EVO. Uh, I'm excited to see how much it's changed, but the firing groups now are a bit odd. You have to sort of scroll through them. I don't even know what the normal binding is. I'm using my joysticks, which have it mapped. 
Uh, I don't know what the normal button is, but if you look at the top left, see it flickering 49, 49, and in the middle saying guns all. I'm cycling my group, so I can shoot one group and then cycle to another group. I wonder if I can quickly show you that. Sorry, I know this is all about the Zeus, but I thought this is worth a, worth a look. Um, you can have a group one, or so if I take one of the weapons off of group one and one of them off of group two, I can now fire just the left, and if I scroll, I'm now for, oh, if I scroll, I'm now firing just the right. So I can switch to my groups individually from one to the other. Uh, very, very, very good, actually, for a lot of ships. I was flying the Sentinel, as I say, and I had an EMP, and I could flick between that without having to have only two firing groups and have the EMP pop with my second firing group. You can now have up to four, which is uh, very handy. I'm not sure how it's going to feel having to sort of scroll through them, but time will tell. Okay, so new MFDs. We will really quickly... Actually, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll do a, uh, a quick cut here and we'll go and get the CL instead of the ES and we'll take off in the CL instead. Is it coming up? Is it not? The PTU's being a bit funky at the moment. What will we get? It's like a lucky dip. Come on, CL. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at that pain. <laughs> yes, sir. Nice. Very nice. That was risky. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So this is the CL with the very nice purple haze paint. Really reminds me of like the Joker with the sort of the purple and the green. Absolutely beautiful. Ramp coming down. Do you know what I am kind of gutted about? That there's no red outline like there is on the C1. That, the C1 brought that into the game and I thought oh maybe this is going to be like the new standard because I love that but it's very unique to the C1 which makes me a little bit sad because I wish I wish this had it but here we go much bigger cargo hold as you can see doesn't feel massively bigger I have to say but it's definitely longer uh, in in terms of um, in terms of space and I guess there's just less going on so what have we got here this is my first time on the ship actually so that's what a weapons locker it looks like very nice standard component things that we had last time component bay two where's the button for this one oh i can't even find the button for component bay uh, maybe that's not one have i been duped yeah i have i'm an idiot okay so component bay wait that's two and three where's one <laughs> but yes same as same as before relays in here ready to go fire extinguisher i'm sure there's another seven as we go through the ship and then let's go up the up to these stairs so it definitely is more squat, isn't it? It's it's, uh, it's a lot shorter. They've they've made the room with the cargo bay. So this was the kitchen before. We'll start with this this time around. Still the kitchen in reverse. No, oh there is a sink. That is a miniature sink. Can barely wash my my flip flops in that sink. But there we go. Still a lovely window dining area. They've kept that uh, same fridges and surfaces. So still looks pretty nifty. Let's have a little look in the crew hold no sofa like there was in the other crew hold so a little bit less luxurious i guess one's for exploring and one's for cargo so that makes sense um really nice attention to detail around these panels got a little flammable logo there which concerns me um three lockers just as before three beds just as before little cubby area just as before and i'm sure the bathroom is identical although this did happen to me when i tried to open the bathroom last time i just cut it out it didn't open for ages so you know what that looks like we all know what the non-poopable toilets look like at this point so looks pretty nice and then we'll head up the stairs same as before really nice ladder area the ladder i can actually see purple on the ladder from the paint job look at that i didn't think that that would change the color as well so the paint seemed to change the the ladder color unless the other one was purple and i just didn't notice that fire extinguisher 28 and then, same as before, shield generators, gravity gen, the relay place, and the engineering terminal. Airlock, suit lockers, so same as the other ship at this point. Weird stutter there. Another weapons rack, so we actually have two in the, in the cargo version, which is interesting. And then shield generator, life support avionics, and another extinguisher, and the three seat cockpit. Now, let's take this one out for a little flight. Uh, a test of a good ship in this game is what it sounds like when it's starting up. Um, now, we all know Crusader sounds the best, other than maybe the Car 2 hour. 
But let's see. I mean, look at that profile. That profile is very sexy. Let's see how it sounds starting up. Okay, power on and engines coming on now. Pretty tame, pretty tame. We'll see what the... Uh, let me close all the doors up. We'll see what the actual sound is like from movement. So let's lift off here. Okay, pretty quiet. Very silent in here. Let's contact... Where's my... I, I do love this, by the way, having everything in here for your gunner in the, in the general sort of settings for like lead, lead, lead and lag pips. Absolutely brilliant. Don't know what precision lines are. Give that a test in a bit. Hail. You are clear to launch. And that oh, was instant. They've changed sort of the mouse icon, which is nice. Why were there? Why were there gunshots just shooting at me there? Do you see that? Someone shooting through through the hangars. Someone else in a Zeus by the looks of things, because it's the same uh, the same trails. All right. Upwards visibility is kind of blocked, but if you lean, it's not bad. You can kind of get a look there. Um, I'm not a huge fan, I have to say. I love the new MFDs and the new layout. I don't like where all these buttons are sort of hiding down here for the gear now. It took me ages to see them. I guess that's now that I know where they are, it's not so bad. But when I first tested this, uh, not in this ship, in the set again in the Sentinel, I was like, where is my gear icon? But now I've seen it, it's not too bad. So, gear up. Don't think there's any VTOL thrusters for this ship. As in any, they don't rotate or change. So leave that where it is. I mean, it does. It does look wonderful, doesn't it? Right, let's see if we can get a bit of sound. Let me switch over to um, Quantum rather than SCM. So Nav QT, let's go Nav Flight. So now we've got more thrust. Your speed limiter is now at the top left of your left MFD, if you see it expanding. So that's max and that's min. So you have that's your limiter and obviously you can just turn it off. So when it's max, the bars are really small. So that's how you know it's completely off. So we've got it off. We're in nav flight. Let's see what it sounds like. When the... I was going to say wait for the, the doors to shut, but they're opening again weirdly. Okay, interesting. They're very, they're very quiet actually. They're like more of like a, they sound like an electric car. Like when you get in a Crusader ship and you put the boost on, it's like you're driving a big American muscle car, like a big V8. And it's, you know, <laughs> that's my sound effect of a V8 by the way. Um, whereas in this ship, it's like an electric car, it just kind of goes, So personally, I'll be honest, first impressions, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the sound, I should say. I love the ship, but the sound is, uh, yeah, the sound's a bit meh for me. Um, I don't think anything, again, will beat the Crusader, like the MSR, the sound of that thing. Absolutely glorious. But the, visual, like, the visuals of this ship kind of make that not a problem. As we sort of pan around here. It, do you know what it reminds you of now? Now that I'm in it and looking at it as a side profile, it really reminds me of the SR-71 Blackbird. Anyone else get those vibes? Oh, it's nice. I'm really disappointed by the sounds. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. They're a little bit like, eh. But anyway. What does it sound like inside? 
very similar. Yeah, it's no Carrick, it's no MSR, but it, it's okay. It sounds okay. So, the the visibility is, is wonderful, as we knew it was going to be. Uh, I love how everything's just sort of not in your face. Your MFDs are to one side. There's nothing blocking your downward visibility, your sideward visibility, a couple of panels, but that's about it. It is really nice. I wish this had, like, the Carrick shields, though. Imagine that. I know different manufacturers, Anvil and RSI, but still. It's very, very nice to fly because you feel like you're just a seat in the sky. You can kind of see the clouds. Let's uh, let's have a little fly through one of the clouds. You can see on the top right there the amount of boost is remaining 43% because I'm boosting 32 so the, the new the new heads up display is, is really nice it's it's the mfds i think are great i know a lot of people don't like them from a combat perspective goodness me perspective in regards to micromanaging your your functions as you go and your sort of your power usage on the shields and the weapons and i get that i do um i think oh, let's have a look let's kiss the clouds as we go through The visibility is just something else. Got the rain. Need window wipers. Look at that. Can't complain. Can't complain with the visuals. Well, so let me know in the comments below, what do you think? What's your first impressions of the Zeus? I know we were all super excited for it. How are we feeling now it's here? Are we all excited still or are we all a bit indifferent? I still don't know how I feel. I'll be honest. It's very, very nice. It has a lot of good features. It looks incredible. It flies very nice, I have to say. It doesn't feel sluggish in the hands in that mode, which is really important. It's got that profile of the SR71, as I say, which I personally love. Will it be a daily driver? Absolutely. I think a lot of people make this their daily driver. No, no question about it. I would like to see what the turret looks like. So let's put this in cruise control and hop out and see what the uh, turret looks like down there. I know it's a turret from the seat but i thought we'll check this out whilst we're here to so enter gunner seat i think my cruise control is just full on just ignored me so we just stopped dead in the water but oh well okay we're in the gunner seat oh god i left us in nav mode can i change that in this seat yes sem gun perfect i wasn't sure if we'd be able to do that how do we enter gun mode now there it is there's a view from underneath It's nice. It is nice. Looking down on Area 18, the clouds. I mean, I love low clouds in Area 18. You can fly in this seat. So I am now flying the ship in the, gu the gunner seat. Now, some people don't know how they feel about that. You can actually shoot as well. I don't know if that's a bug or intentional. I won't lie. Because I'm flying no problem, shooting the main weapons no problem. Oh, actually, no, I tell you what, I'm shooting the the turret. So I'm flying the ship, but shooting the turret. Okay. So I'm not shooting the main weapons. So if you have two people, does it... Is there a bit of like a... I don't know, interference? I don't know. I have to give that a test. But there we go. I think I'll wrap up the video there. I don't think there's too much more to say. I don't want to sit here and bore you. Um, it looks great. It looks great. It flies great. I'm very excited to try this in real life environments and in real life sort of gameplay and see how it goes. So if you're interested in that, uh, make sure to hit the like button and subscri subscribe <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm, I will be following this up with another video. I'm currently hunting all of the Halloween masks. That video will be out soon and I guess, well, I won't be using this ship, I'll be honest. I'm doing that in the live servers at the moment, but I am using the Terrapin in this in this exact paint. 
so make sure to subscribe if you're interested in seeing the, the hunting for all the Halloween masks but until then you've been fantastic I've been GFA thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one peace Thank you.